have no idea how it is 4 p.m. Also, it's dark outside. What is happening? So I have the official holiday look planned. I might do that tomorrow. You're, you know, you're thinking like gold, brown, warm, red lip, all of that good stuff. But I've been trying to kind of do things that are simplified a little bit more. Um, things that everybody can kind of do. And I'm going to use this this right here. Um, I talked about this yesterday on my story. We're going to use the silver one and I'm going to show you a super spicy, easy holiday look. Now I'm probably going to film a TikTok while I'm doing this and I'm going to film about this liner right here and a super little festive eye look. So before I do that, um, if you want to go grab this, sometimes things and it's gone. Sometimes things sell out when I post them on TikTok and here on IG. So you know what? story fam they get it first so we want to even out our lids and we want to even them out fast we're not even going to use eyeshadow primer that takes up time what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my powder foundation and i'm just going to press that all over my lid just kind of evens it out very fast i'm actually going to be doing just the silver liner and some black liner All right, we're already, what is with this liner? I'm about to poke myself in the eye. Okay, let me get a handle on this, I'm out of control. So I'm not gonna go directly on the lash line. I am going to go above. Look how pretty that is. Look how pigmented. I'm telling y'all, these are the bee's knees. Look at how pretty that is. So what I'm doing is I'm leaving space for the black liner and this going on top is going to make our cat eyes so easy. It's the top part of the cat eye when we use black or brown. It's the top part that gets us. So this is going to act as a little, what's the word I'm looking for? Basically it's going to hide any mistakes. You can use a pencil liner, gel liner, whatever black liner you want. I feel black looks best with the silver because of that contrast. Um, the one I'm going to use is from Melt Cosmetics, and I'm going to pick this up on a Rosenbin Beauty E26. I'm just kind of loading that up on the brush, and then I'll even it out. It's a little too much. And then we'll just go right underneath. And I'm gonna leave this eye unfinished, so I'm gonna look a little wild because I am gonna film it on TikTok. So we have some new lashes. These are from House of Lashes and they are from the Patrick Ta collab and this is It's an After Party cause I wanted some floofers. Since we don't have any eyeshadow on, this PC look here is gonna look so cool up against the bare skin. I disappear for a second, I'm gonna come back and we'll do the face here. Um, but I am kind of filming a little TikTok on a really quick little holiday look. I say TikTok, it will be posted here on IG as well. So I'll be right back. I went wild and went ahead and finished it. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post it at 7 p.m. Central Time. It's actually already on TikTok. But I do wanna talk about what I used because I liked a lot of what I used. So first of all, I added this spicy number. This one is actually new from the Sparkle NYC. I'm gonna tag them here. I think I said it backwards, but if not, that's where these come from. Mm-hmm. How pretty is this for the holidays? It's so pretty. Also, I used this. I think this one sold out. I'm about done, y'all. Y'all, too much is selling out. It's, it's wild, but this is so good. Um, if there are other colors in this formula on there, any of the neutrals, they are amazing. This is from, of course, Myra Cosmetics, a vibe. Love them. This is the Lucent Cream Shadows, and I'm using the shade 25 Starlight. That's what I have here on my inner corner. Now, whenever I'm in a hurry, I like to use powder foundation, and that's what I use. I use my Beauty Creations one. I wanted a little bit more coverage. Um, if I'm just doing day-to-day, -day, I'll use the Laura Geller, but when I want it to be a little spicy, but I'm in a hurry, this one. I wear the shade 3.0. It's the same one that I used here on my lid. Um, 
I can't rave enough about it, but I do want to show you, I did apply it with my Rosenbone Beauty C41 here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just love the way this brush applies powder foundation. You'll see in the video. It's me. It's so good. I'm going to let you on another little secret. This is what I have underneath my eyes. Um, I've never used this. I was skeptical. I'm honestly not sure why I used it without actually testing it, but I'm glad I did because it is gorgeous. Look at this under eye. So I did my concealer first. You'll see in the tutorial, whenever I do a powder foundation, I always do my concealer first. It's just a lot easier. And I actually still did set it with a loose powder. Loose powders are more finely milled than pressed powders. So I wanted to set it with the loose. So I did that first. Um, this right here, this under eye. I mean, you see it too, right? Bronzer, I used my Gucci bronzer. Um, I did buy the shade 01, but the shade 02 is just so good on me. 02 is my favorite, so that's the bronzer that I used. The blush that I used is this. I used this one from MAC. It's in the shade Pink Swoon. I want to add more. Don't you judge me. We're going to add a little bit more. I'm going to grab the C41 as well. This is just so stinking pretty. This blush, it's gorgeous. And notice that I'm putting the blush, I'm not putting it here. I don't wanna look like I have a pink stripe there. What I'm doing is I'm going right underneath the bronzer. So the bronzer's here, and then the blush will go here. Just a little bit too. I don't go in directly and then apply it there. I kinda just use whatever's left on the brush. For the lip, we might be onto something here too. Um, I This is my second one, and I don't know how TikTok hasn't found this. If this is still available, I'm pretty sure this is still available, but this is from Kevin Aqua, and the shade is Pink Crystal. This is their Molten Lip. This shade in particular is, it's something to behold. It is honestly one of the prettiest, most shimmery glosses I have ever used. I'm pretty sure this is going to be my favorite lip liner at the moment. This one is from Huda Beauty, and it's in the shade Pinky Brown. It's just, it's my lip line, but better. I really love this one. Let me show you really fast. If you still just don't feel like you're confident enough with the black liner, just do your black liner, right? Just do it. Just throw it on. Don't worry. Just look in the mirror and be like, I got this. Rose told me this. Let me, let's grab a Rose and Ben Beauty E27 and a black eyeshadow, any black eyeshadow. And this is still going to be beautiful. But what we can do is just kind of smudge the top of it and kind of just ombre it into the silver. And then, don't have to worry about it being perfect because it's deliberately smudged and all of our mistakes are hidden. It's the little things. Just doing that hides it. We're still festive. The silver's still sparkling, but we didn't have to have such a steady hand. So there's the products. Again, I'm going to be posting the tutorial in just a little while. Make sure you go pick up this liner. This one is so pretty. Go ahead and get all of them because they're all amazing. And I'm pretty sure that they are only $5 plus my discount. So hop on over to Moira Cosmetics. And I love you all so much. Um, tomorrow I am going to do kind of a full glam. Like let's, let's do something heavy. I haven't done like a heavy, heavy glam in a minute. Um, I'm talking like full coverage foundation, all that jazz. So we'll do that tomorrow. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do it tomorrow. Um, either way, it's gonna get done before the holiday season is over because it's fun. Okay, let's put on a lot of makeup. I love you all so much and we'll see you tomorrow.